Dead Beat. Kila siku saa sita na Masawi Japani. Hello. Sara. Yes. Mambo. Poa. Story yako ni gani? Ah, uh, story yangu ni ndefu na ni ya kuzunisha sana. Mhm. Ah, uh, ifupishe tafadhali. Ifupishe, ifupishe. Watu wa Mombasa tunawajua. Ifupishe. Ah, uh, sawa. Mtoto na miaka mingapi? Nianza 2018, eh? Mtoto na umri gani? Ombi, mtoto ni 2 years old. Muliachana kwa sababu gani? Tuliachana kwa sababu ya alikuwa na negligence kwangu na kwa mtoto na alikuwa anavuta bangi, pombe ana wakati na sisi na na engagement yeye anajisikia. Mhm. Mhm. Na kuna wakati ambapo alinipiga sana na hiyo siku nilikuwa nimechoka, nilikuwa nimefanya usafi kwa nyumba kama mwanamke kama bibi yake agaje hapa ni pigeo siku ni kwa ni mtoto alikuwa amelala kwa nyanyangu so ni wana kausha maziwa alafu akaja akanipiga ilikuwa ni jioni sasa dia akanitandika kwa sababu ya kumuuliza tu kwa sababu kama amenunua zile dawa za kausha maziwa akanipiga akanipiga kwa sababu kunima kuniua alafu ndo baba mkwe ndo akasikia baba bavi akasikia ndo akaja akatukoboa hata jirani pia alisikia dada zake wakaja Alafu dada yake akaniambia ni mwache wa mwanaume anaweza kuwa na mwanamke mwingine lakini kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka bado kugumila kwa ndoa yangu na kuzaliga mtoto wangu na huko nyumbani nilikuwa sina nafasi hata kufika mimi ni mkikuu yeye ni mjaluo so ilikuwa ni nilikuwa ni, sina nafasi ya kurudi nyumbani na mtoto nilikuwa nikija nikitoka kule nikija huko nyumbani narudishwa kule nyumba kule kwa kwa so ilikuwa sina option nyingine mlikuwa mmeoana mmoja tena moja eh? mlikuwa mmeoana Aduwa tujawana, aduwa tumeshikana tu, atu, yani ni kama ndo lakini atu ujefanya rusio yote, yani Mli... hivyo ndo tulunganishwa na wazazi. Mlikutana wapi? Kwa nipopata uja uzito, alikubali kuchua majukumu na tukamu kuka pamoja. Mulipatana wapi? Kwa soa najua za zongu wa najua. Eee, e, mama, mulipatana wapi? Tulipatana papa malindi, alikuwa mifungwa wa shop ya movie. Okay. Hapa patu nyumbani just opposite, hapo ndo tulikutana, kwa nenda kuninuwa movie ya. Lakini muliko mnaishi pamoja? Eh, ruwa tenshi pamoja kwa na date nenda kwake, alafu baba ata ujauzito 2019 ndo niliza. Kazi gani anaendelea nayo bado? Eh? Anafanya kazi gani mpaka sasa hivi? Anafanya kazi ya ualimu. Oh, alipata kazi kama mwalimu eh? Eh, lakini before that alikuwa anafanya alikuwa anafanya kazi na Robi. Okay, haya wacha tumpigie. Anaitwa nani? Anaitwa Alex. Okay. Hello. Alex. Hello. Alex. Hello. Hello. Hi. Alex, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Yes. Unanisikia? Yes. Habari ya kushinda? Nzuri sana. Mimi naitwa Catherine. Okay. Nakupigia kutoka ofisi ya idara ya watoto hapa mjini Mombasa. Okay. Eh, Sarah amekuja hapa akasema mliko mlipata mtoto na yeye. Aha. Lakini umetelekeza majukumu, hujakuwa ukimsaidia kule ya mtoto. Wewe amekupata uko wapi wewe? Mimi niko katika ofisi ya idara ya watoto mjini Mombasa. Mombasa. Yeye yeah, mbona amekimbia ofisi ya Malinda anaenda Mombasa? Ati? Ali mbona anakimbia ofisi ya Malinda anaenda Mombasa? Kwa sababu alikuwa referred, alikuwa referred to me specifically. Alianza, alianza Malindi na macha kesi hanging. So she should come back and start again in Malindi. The, the thing about Mombasa is another issue. No. The, no, 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 no. The, the reason why huh? Alex, the reason why I'm calling you is that first of all we can have a conversation. Can we have a conversation? She has gone too far now because uh, actually ali nipelekea Malindi. Hapo tuko tuna tuna discuss then she just Sara. Yes, she's very desperate to solve this. Can we No, nimepiga ndio tuweze kuongea. Sara. Yeah. Alex ndio huyu ongea na yeye. Hello. Wasemaje? Ana sema hivi kule manini nilienda ni nikaenda pale kwa ofisi alafu juu mlifanya nini na ule madam kama mlibribe kama mfanya nini na wewe mwenyewe ndio ulikataa kumaliza mambo na mimi huu mtoto ndo anaumia na ndio maana nimetafuta radio jambo ndo anisaidie wakanirifa huko Mombasa so mimi yenye nataka ni nataka mtoto wangu ifanyike na waishi kama mtoto wengine uweze kuona ile mtoto wa mwanamke mwingine na mtoto wako kuwa anaumia unapatikana nani kule mambo, na kule unaonekana kule cheki mambo mambo ya radio station bwana hiyo ni upumbavu unaona wewe ni upumbavu you know you, 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 you know the procedure you know the procedure the right channel 
Ulianza, ulianza no, uko... I'm going to go in length for my son's haki. Sasa uta, uta, why, should, why should you say that you could have been a bribe? Na hili ni ofisi ya serikali, uh, no. na mbae baje ofisi ya serikali? Haa, uh, hili ni serikali, ni idara ya watoto. Unaona? Na ulikata Una... kule, ungefanya malini, ungekubali, yale tuko tuwa unafanya, ungekubali. Lakini umeniangaisha mina mtu wangu, umeniangaisha kule, wazazi wako, ndugu zako. Teki, angalia, ya malindi, ya malindi mimi siku kata, mimi nilikompleta. Ni ulikata ni ulini uliniangaisha sana na ulini zungusha sana. Unanyua nilitumia pesa ngatu wewe, yawe kuomba piki piki pesa, sina pesa ni. Unanyua nilitumia wa pesa ngatu wewe mbona uli waka wei hapo wei no hapo. i did not waka wei i explain nini peleka mtoto alale alikuwa na nisumbua wewe ndo uli waka wei ulipo shika simu mara kwanza tu kwanza kesi mara pili tulipo kwa tuna tuna maliza ama na waka wei ukena kushika simu ukaza kupigia sorry mtoto ananja mtoto ana usingizi ana kakulala lakini susan uwezi kutompatia sara uwezi kuzungumza tu hivyo mpati mwenza kona fasi ya zungumze asa wei kinanda mpe nafasi msikilize niulize tu ni rudi nyuma malindi ulipoenda katika idara ya watoto mbona ukupata usaidizi issue ilikuwa ni gani issue ilikuwa eh ilikuwa madam ilikuwa nilienda hapo nilikuwa nimepeleka issue hiyo hiyo moja yenye nimekawa open wamempeleka kwa sababu na neglect mtoto yeah that is the issue nini uliambiwa nini uliambiwa nini mbona ukupata usaidizi Aya nilipoenda hapo madam nilienda nikaisilisha hiyo kesi akaitwa akakuwa samon tukaanza kesi alafu venye tunataka ku, ku, venye tunaanza akashika simu tena na mimi simu yangu nilikuwa nimeyeka plus kwa sababu hiyo kesi ilikuwa muhimu lakini akashika simu makusudi akatoka nje akapatwa nafasi tukaambia tena tu, turudi nikamwambia ni mgodi ni mgodi tuporudi tena venye tunataka ku discuss mambo tumalize tuli disagree kwa sababu alikuwa anataka hiyo amount na mimi nataka hiyo amount waka 300 pa pa nini pa day ya chakula na yeye alikuwa anataka 200 sima 300 ni nyingi haya tupenda kwa discuss tuliporudi tena venye tunataka kumaliza mambo akashika simu tena akaongea kama 3 hours na mtafuta mtoto wako na nje nilikuwa nimeenda na mtoto juu tunaambiwa tuende na watoto ndio wao fanya assessment nikam nikam bidi nikimze mtoto nyumbani nikakimbia nikampigia simu ni, ni form pate mtoto chakula akalala Nikamwambia haya basi ni wacha turudi tumalize. Okay, wacha tumpigie simu. Subiri tumpigie simu tena. Na mpatie mwanzo nafasi pia zungumze. Haya. Hello? Alex. Hello? Alex. Sasa mimi siji kwa nini mna mnafanya hivi ni sawa ni sawa ngoja kwanza sitaki ongea na Sara kwanza mimi nataka tuongee na wewe anasema mlikuwa mmeshaanza hii kesi katika ofisi ya idara ya watoto mjini Malindi ya na sasa kama yeye anakuja kwako wewe mnaweka watu on air siji kama mko on air ama mko on air on air gani si nimekwambia hii ni idara ya watoto Basi kuna just call the office man the Malindi office and confirm with them. No no no, no that's not how we work. You are no, the father of the child. Uh, uh, Alex, not, uh, that's not listen. how we uh, that's not how we operate. You are the father of the child and we want listen, you yeah. to commit. Listen, yeah. You know you have your colleagues in Malindi. You have your branch in Malindi. So can you just call those people and ask them what happened? Because they are the ones who told me I, I should pull away because the lady has been a nuisance. She she she, she took me there. Oh. She bring a letter to me. Okay, when mm -hmm. when we were there we were discussing about the the how, how we can help the kid mm -hmm. then he started, he started having her own demand eh? okay subiri kidogo eh uh, alex <laughs> unajua tu si tu eh tu si vutane sana na you know koti dare watoto nini nini anayeumia ni mtoto we ni mwalimu sasa hivi unaelewa kwamba mtoto anahitaji uh, malezi bora zaidi So itakuwa ni bora zaidi mkijua na kusikilizana na kusema kwamba wewe ulikuwa unataka 300 a day I can't afford it mimi 200 a day then mkutane katikati Na unaambona nakutaka kuelewana hivyo eh Ndio sasa tunakuja na suluhu tunakuja kuwasaidia Sawa Una huyo she is someone who is an on and off eh and actually she it's it's like she has a condition actually So when you when you are sitting just be very careful What condition What condition Eh? What condition? I, I'm not even given a <laughs> to assist him. I'm not even given a chance to assist him, eh? Nikipeleka pesa hivi na urudishwa, nikitumia pesa na urudishwa. What is that? How can we help the kid? And, Sara, and, 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 Sara, na tumeunga pesa unarudisha shwali. 
Anarudisha huyo. Anarudisha pesa yote. Ile pesa yenye nilirudisha imagine. Sisi madam. Sisi yenye nilirudisha ni alikuwa amemwa bado mtoto wake akatuma 500. Hebu ni 500 wangekuwa ningetumia nini mimi? Ma pesa ni pesa. Ya tano ningenunua ningenunua nini? Mtoto mia tano mmejumia mmoja umemwa bando. Wewe umekana mtu ambaye unatuma pesa angalie pesa nyo unatuma. Anaona wewe sasa unakana mtu ambaye hujamwa. She has some issues. That lady has some issues. And we we have already started in Malindi. Eh? Okay, tunamalizaje Alex na Sara? Manake tunaweza kuishinda hapa the whole day eh? Tunamalizaje? What is the solution going forward? Tunasemaje Alex? Oh, ongea na yeye. Yaro liko kufisha malindi because mimi ni mambo kabisa. Aturudi kwa idara ya watoto. Kama inaweza kuzuiwa tutarudi kwa idara ya watoto. Tusema kwamba kwa wiki ndio hiyo shilingi ya moja unatuma. By Friday. The issue is the issue is I cannot uh, make a deal with that lady. She's stupid and she's not uh, cooperative. So the best thing that I can do we can, just, we can only make a deal when you in that office, the child protection office. Na atunga mimi sijachukua sijachukua hatua nikaenda nika report kule kwa children's right ni gender rights na nini huko kwa police. That, that's where I was referred to. Hata hmm. eh? pengine kamboni chukue lawyer if, if I can get a good lawyer can, I will get that kid. Wewe mtoto wewe mtoto kwa frustrated nikimpatia vitu anaenda anatupa eh mtoto analazwa nja hajakwambia hizo mtoto analazwa nja utajuaje analazwa nja na uishi na eh ndio nako ndio naishi na eh ndio nimekueleza nimekueleza hata hizo na story ametoka hapa ni upumbavu wake tu anakuja anatoka na mama kwa nyumba mama yangu anatoka naje mama kwa nyumba Mama anawaambia kaa chini mwelewe polepole. Ama my mother is also like her mother. Eh? Weka chini. Hata kudanganya mwanaume tafadhali. Nasikia baba anasema. Hapa hakuna kitu. Wewe ni mwongo. Ni sawa, ni sawa Alex, eh? lakini uwezi uwezi ku, kumtuka na matusi yaye yote ile siku ambayo ulikuwa unapata naye mtoto wako wa stupid na hakuwa mpumbavu. Eh? Sasa hii leo ndio amekuwa mpumbavu. So, no, so wakati binadamu. Wakati time ni ongea na nyinyi lakini sasa naona mko na interest nyingine. So the best thing, I don't know how I can help you out. But okay, watch us fine off. Fine off. Sara, fine off. Tutaku tutaheshimu uamuzi wako. Sara itabidi urudi katika idara ya watoto tena yes, enda uwasilishe yes, kesi okay. upya, sawa? Yes, Uelewane yes. katikati. Yes, yes, madam. Hakuna shortcut kwa maisha. Madam hebu nisikie. Na ajue ajue pia hakuna ati ati ati. Mimi nimeenda kwa hiyo ofisi nimeangaishwa. Nilisikwa wiki mbili na sikufanikiwa. Sara Namba ya Ezekiel ni 0707 ni simu uone kama ataweza kukusaidia Umesikia mbona mimi nisaidia mimi alinihangaisha alinihangaisha kwa na kunionyesha madhara au mbele ya mtoto wangu na watu wote Nasikia Wacha ifai basi kama haki hizi patikana basi nimemsikia kabisa Nasikia Lakini yeye ajue atafutia mwanamke aka ina yeye lakini yeah. wasitafute mtoto wangu tena. Hata hizo pesa asitupe tena. Kwa hiyo ni kusaidia mtoto. Wewe unaangalia mtoto. No 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 listen Alex. Mimi nimekupatia chance ya mwisho na leo ndio ilikuwa ya mwisho. Kama uweze ka kwa majukumu kama mwanaume you must button up weka. Lakini usitafute jeto unasikia. Ah wewe kama ukitaka mwanaume basi ni wanaume ugani. Wewe ni mtoto wangu sasa kinachukua sheria. Mtoto wangu anapoja kwa hiyo mtoto kesho tayari. Hata sheria yote lakini unjua wewe si baba tena. Yeah. Wewe nenda polisi nenda huko kwa chief kuna ni dress kila siku nenda uliambiwa kabisa kwa hapa kwa polisi wewe nenda unajua malizi wewe kwa unatekea mtoto wa mwanamke mwingine jamani muliishi vipi nyinyi wawili kwa nyumba mungu wangu ah kamake ah Muliishi vipi? Amheshimiani ampitieni muda wa kuzungumza. Ah, mwanaume amenipitishia mengi huyo mwanaume. Mami, namba ya Ezekiel ni muhudumu katika idara ya watoto 0707266388. Jaribu mbinu nyingine. Kishindikana then tutajua tutafanya nini baada ya hapa. Lakini eh, madam, lakini nashukuru. Okay. Ah. 